Introducing the most fun thing to do, the Handy Quilter Couching Feet in action. It comes in a set of three, depending on what size yarn you're going to be putting on your fabric. And these are the three sizes available. Now, for this demonstration, this is the yarn I'm using, and I'm using the smallest whole foot. And believe it or not, that yarn goes through just fine. So let me show you how easy it is to get that yarn through that little tiny hole. First thing we're going to do is bring our bobbin thread up, just like we always do. Now it's, it's hard for you to see my top thread because I have invisible thread in there. Now I'm going to take my yarn and put it between the foot shank and the needle. Bring it down, and you can see, even though it's invisible thread, if I tug on it, you can see how that thread has lassoed that piece of yarn. So drop your foot, bring it back up again. Now holding on to your upper thread, you just simply pull, and that lassoed yarn comes right through the hole. If you really have to struggle to get the yarn through the hole, your best to go to the next size up. Your yarn should flow freely through the hole as it does here. And when it does that, the hole is so small and the yarn just fits, so the needle is able to puncture the yarn right in the center as it goes. You don't have to do any guiding at all. Just make sure you have plenty of slack in your yarn. So here we go. Let's do some loop-de-loops around this kidney-shaped design here and see what we can come up with. And again, you can see I don't have to do any guiding at all. The only thing I'm doing is holding on to my fabric and going round and round in loops. Nothing too difficult here, but it really makes an impact much more so than just regular thread. Now, as you're watching this, I want to give you one more thing to think about. This foot can be used for things way more than quilts. I'm stitching this on a double layer of fleece. Yeah, that's right. And the fleece is not stabilized at all. And you'll see as I go around here, you'll see a little stretching of the fabric so that you can see that it is indeed fleece. But it's different working on fleece and doing this kind of a design on a free motion basis because you don't have the feed dogs fighting the needle, the foot, and everything else that's going on. So this actually worked rather well, surprisingly. So you can put your thinking caps off, see what else you can come up with. Maybe decorate yourself a sweatshirt for Thanksgiving or Christmas. Okay, we're going to speed things up now. But I just want you to, to see by doing loops and then doing little scallops around those. Now we're going to just do tiny little circles, double circles on top of each other. We're going to make a little flower here. Come down and you can go over the same area more than once and it doesn't do a heavy build up. So now we have a little flower. Now here's where you can see where I have, I'm working with a stretch. Did you see how that fabric bunched up on me? But it's straightened back out because I'm just doing a straight stitch. Here I'm going to do a solid leaf, back and forth. It fills in pretty nicely. And I'm using a sport weight yarn, in case anybody wants to know. That's a little lighter than what an afghan would be made out of, in case you aren't more familiar with yarns. You don't want to get anything too thin, because then it doesn't fit snugly in the hole. Now, if you see where the X is, there's a little loop of yarn there. You want to be real cautious and make sure you straighten out those loops. 
Otherwise, you're going to have three strands of yarn fighting to get down that little hole. And that's just not real pretty. So make sure your yarn is always straightened out. It seems the finer the yarn, the more chances of getting those loops. So that's something that you need to look out for. So you have your wheels spinning yet? Here's the back side of the fleece and you can see the simple stitches that were done in order to create what was on the front with a variegated skein of yarn. And all this playing gave me my crazy cool cat for my sewing room. <laughs>